We're going to have a look at the trickiest questions from the recent coordinates assessment the children did. Um, some children struggled on this one. They had to find uh, the coordinates of B and C. It was important to read at the top the diagram shows two identical squares and it's uh, largely an unmarked um, set of axes but we need to use the information we've got so we've got the coordinates of the origin spot there zero zero and we've got the coordinates of point A which is 10 on across on the x-axis so that must be 10 down there and it's also 10 on the y-axis so we can mark that there so to find point B well we know it along the x-axis is exactly at zero um, and on the y-axis, by taking it from the mark from A, we know that point B is at position 10 on the y-axis. So, 0, 10 is the position of B. Looking at C, on this occasion, we know already that its x-axis, its x-position must be 10. It's in the same position as A. And we know there are, they are identical squares uh, of sides of 10. So the y-coordinate for up here... Uh, will be 10 more than position B. So the X coordinate is 10 and the Y coordinate is going to be 20. For this one, this diagram again shows two identical rectangles and the fact that it's bold there suggests that that's important. We write the coordinates of point A and point B. Now point A is uh, on this plane here um, which means that its x-coordinate must be 12 and it's halfway between the bottom of um, the right-hand coordinate um, sorry, the bottom of the right-hand rectangle and the uh, right-hand side of the um, top rectangle. Now if we're going from a position of 3 on the y-axis about here, if we take a dotted line across and if we take a dotted line across here we know so this point up here is 9 and that one's 3 and this one's halfway, it's a the two identical rectangles so that y coordinate must have been 6. If, um, if I take off some of the markings there and take a think about the second part which was to uh, work out the coordinates of point B which is over here. Now, straight away we know that its y-coordinates uh, are the same as this point here so its y-coordinate is 3 the real question is working out the x-coordinates and we need to know what this distance is here well the two rectangles are identical if we look at the rectangle on the left we see we go from a point of 5 up to 12 so that's a jump of 7 so the longer side of the rectangle must be 7 so we're jumping from the 12, add 7 again, and that means that the uh, x coordinate needed to be 19. And finally, ABCD is a rectangle drawn on coordinate axes. The sides of the rectangle are parallel to the axes. What are the coordinates of D and E? So looking at D, what do we already know? Well, its position on the x axis is minus 10. And its position, let's take off some of the markings, and its position on the y-axis is in line with C. You can see that here. And the, um, the y-coordinate for C is minus 4. So minus 10 minus 4 is the position for D. Thinking about E, some of the children found it hard to understand that uh, it actually hasn't moved along the x-axis at all. It's in line with the origin point. So the first coordinate, the x-coordinate, had to be 0. How far up the unmarked y-axis? Uh, well, that's shown by the fact that A is in line with E, and the y-coordinate for A was 8. So the correct coordinates for E was 0, 8. Uh, these were tricky level 5 questions, and lots of children got them right, and I was really pleased after just a couple of days' work um, and they really stepped up to the mark. If they didn't quite get it first time, we'll go through it all on Tuesday, or some of it on Tuesday, and I'm sure we'll, we will revisit it uh, before they uh, leave the school. Thanks very much.